Hi everyone, Lawrence here from the Australian Trade Logistics Corporation. Really proud to announce that um, we've got Sidekick who have come on as one of our national partners with the ATLC community and I'm here today with Tom Amos, the founder and CEO of Sidekick. Thanks Tom. Thank you. So Tom, uh, you know, why did you start Sidekick in the first place? So it was a long time ago now, back in 2012 and I'd been at Deloitte for four years yeah. as an accountant and that wasn't for me and I had this idea about trying to connect people who wanted work and allowing with businesses who needed work completed. Mm -hmm. And that's how it started out back in the day and the very first iteration was called Lend Me A Hand and that was about neighbours helping neighbours. Very quickly we realised that this was much more of a business product and that's when we started Sidekicker. Mm -hmm. So I think for the first couple of years when we started out we were doing a lot of um, small jobs and what we did is we just watched what types of businesses were using the platform and how are they using it and that allowed us to, to always be looking at how to solve better problems and what we realized is that the big problem we we're solving was how to improve the way casual and temporary staffing worked and in 2015 C came on board and invested and since then we've grown from three staff members to about 75 full-timers yeah. and employ over 10,000 sidekicks completing uh, casual work all over Australia and New Zealand. Fantastic. So who is Sidekicker today? I mean, obviously you talked about the, the, the growth. Yep. yep. What other sectors do you sort of uh, work in now? Yeah, so when Seat came on as an investor, it allowed us to, to put money into different areas. So we started out primarily in hospitality, mainly because when we started, that was an industry that just jumped at it very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, and it really worked. And then we looked at events and exhibitions, business admin, and we're now uh, pushing into the logistics sector, which is why we're here today. Yeah, fantastic. Now, really exciting. I think um, you know, you've had great success to date. And you know, the, it, what, what's the sort of thought process? I, I, I can see there's a great fit, but what was the thought process with you and the management team around going to warehousing space? I guess there was an element of how we've always made decisions, which is we started to get warehousing businesses signing up mm. and they were wanting pickers and packers. And, um, and we said, sure, we can do that. And we did that in a very small amount. And then that just kept happening. And we're like, hang on, it yeah. looks like we've got something here. Yeah. And maybe we'd acquired about 10 customers mm. in, in that sector. And um, we said, you know what, let's, let's give it a crack because the same dynamics that we're seeing in some of in other industries were at play. So there was lots of casual labor, lots of churn, lots of quality issues, uh, potentially a lack of technology in, in delivering the service. Yeah. And, um, and we'd seen customers loving what we're doing and that gave us the confidence to, to really push into the sector. And um, we've now got over 100 customers already and uh, yeah, we're very excited. Fantastic, great. I think um, you know, the, the real disruptor sort of feel around Sidekick uh, is um, well overdue for the warehousing or slash industrial space. I think yeah. it's great. And you know, there's some other labor hire companies out there who are playing this field. What, why is Sidekick different? It's the, it's the way we deliver the service. Yeah. So at the end of the day, um, a business needs casual staff and, and our technology makes that process uh, simple. It also adds a huge amount of transparency. So for a warehouse manager who wants control over the labor that's coming into his uh, or her warehouse, he's, they're able to view staff profiles, they're able to see where the people have worked, they're able to see why the person wants to, to work there and they can really control that workforce. Uh, for the supply chain managers or the, the general managers, it allows transparency. Yeah. So they, because it's all online and because it's a platform, they can uh, go on, they can see what their, their spend is, simply they can see what the time and attendance is they can see what the reliability is um, and they get full visibility over their option mm -hmm. and the challenges are when things are offline is that becomes very difficult so just say you wanted to know that your temporary or casual labor had been doing site inductions if that's done on paper it's quite difficult to do yeah. whereas on sidekick out they're able to quickly quickly click onto the profile see that that person's got the uh, induction for the specific site and have the confidence that that's taken care of. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, it's just the the online nature of the the product. That's I, I love the platform and I love the the, automos, the automation of it because yeah. you know, it, it, as you say to try and manage that and keep on track of that is an, another task in itself, right? So, no, but I want to drill down. You mentioned the staff quality re reliability. Again, that's sort of everyone's catchphrase when it comes to the labour hire yeah. sort of team or yeah. sector, I should say. So. Could you drill down a little bit on more? Yeah, 
everyone will say that they've got the best labor. Yeah. Uh, what we say is that we have the best systems to try and make that labor perform as, as well as it possibly can. We're under no illusions that the reality is that people won't turn up, that you are gonna, from time to time, have reliability. Um, but what our system does is it tries to limit that as much as possible. So we have a lot of automation in the background around making sure sidekicks turn up, 24 hour check-in texts, 24-7 uh, operation teams that are able to, you know, if a sidekick withdraws at the last minute to, to replace that. Yeah. Uh, we have the accountability with the ratings and reviews so that when staff are working, they know that, hey, if I, if I don't do a good job today, if I'm, uh, not acting with the right intensity or if I'm not working as a team or not um, you know following instructions that's going to affect my profile yeah. and if my profile is affected then that's going to make me less likely to get employed again. Um, the other thing that really excites me about what your platform does is things like keeping track of the licenses and forklifts and you know, that whole OH&S um, minefield yeah. um, seems like it's encapsulated in the, in the, app as well, in the platform as well. Yeah, and it's sort of what I spoke about before where when things are offline and the paper trail and the audit trail is a lot more challenging. Mm. Whereas what we do is by bringing it all online that if there's someone that wants to do an audit, they're able to go in and see all the staff. They're able to see all the certificates themselves. They're not just taking our word for it. Mm. Um, they're able to verify that. They're also um, able it to get you know, overview, if there's four, four different sites that you're looking after, for example, yep. you're able to see what's happening at all those sites. So you're able to see everyone's got the, uh, the OHNS documents done, everyone's got the right certificates that are on site. Um, and that allows people to sleep a bit yeah. easier at night and make sure that the people on site um, are properly inducted and have the required yep. certificates. Absolutely, risk mitigation, liability, all those things that you know, they're yeah. critically important to an operation, especially supply chain operations yes. and industrial operations. Yeah. Because look, there, there's people have to make sure that everything is ticked and all, all those boxes are yeah. checked off. Oh, that's great. I mean, you mentioned, Tom, that you're new to the sector. Have you sort of got in mind who an ideal customer is for Sidekick in the industrial space? Yeah. So it's, it's not really about the size. Our solution can scale from a single, um, you know, site to, to, to multi-sites. Uh, the key thing is though, you have to be experiencing fluctuations in, in your staffing. Um, you know, we find that businesses that have a really consistent level of staffing requirements are largely running permanent workforces. That means that they don't have the need as much for this casual component, which is where we really specialize. So if you're a company that has peaks and troughs in the amount of staffing that you require, then our solution can you know, be a strong benefit, whether or not you have one site or a hundred sites. So Tom, you know, you mentioned fluctuations, the ideal customer. It's a really relevant and important segue because, you know, uh, the shipping industry, the supply chain industry, we're just about to hit smack bang in, in peak season, just before that Christmas madness, when yeah. all the product comes in from overseas, warehouses get full and people are scrambling to try and find staff to unpack or pack containers and cartons. So. Um, you know, I can see the immediate need for Sidekicker and I can see how many importers, exporters would, would love to get in touch. What's the best way they can contact you guys and get, get started? Yeah, so heading over to our website, uh, we've set up a landing page, sidekicker.com forward slash ATLC, right. wow. uh, yeah. where you'll be able to sign up to the website, you'll be able to try out Sidekicker for free really? um, because of our, our new partnership. Right. Um, and you'll be able to yeah, hire a Sidekicker and see what the technology is all about and see what our support team is all about and, and chat to your account manager. So one of the biggest yep. things customers are surprised about when they sign up to us is how much offline support we also do provide to our customers. Fantastic. So that is sidekicker.com forward slash ATLC. Great. Thanks Thank so much, you. Tom. Look, it's a fantastic offer to ATLC members and the broader community. Really want to try and encourage you to give Psychic a go. Once you've had a chance to experience the platform, the reporting capability, the visibility, I'm sure you won't look back. So thanks so much, Tom. I'm really looking forward to and proud to have you guys on board. Fantastic. Thank Cheers. you. Thanks, Tom. Cheers. So